know who my favorite political philosopher is? Adolf Hitler. Have you read Mein Kampf? Yo boys, it's Oni. Welcome to part two of a question series to what if Deku was the son of Stolas. If you guys would like to see more of this, please hit the video to around 80 likes in 24 hours and you guys will get part three next week, as I would promise. And also, quick little thing here. My upload schedule is fucked currently because I don't have time to record and I've had man flu for the past three weeks. So uh, that's proved interesting. And also the weather in the UK has gone down to minuses and flu is up. So I can't do much with recording as often as what I should do. But I can still push out videos with on my main channel, which you guys can check out on the top right of your guys' screen or with the link in the description. I do hope you all enjoy and enjoy it yourself. Have fun boys. We're gonna skip to the have fun boys. We're gonna skip to the perspective of Incomodoria hitting Blitzo and Izuku across the head, telling them they are idiots for exposing themselves to humans. Do they know the implications that they could have with that one man? The one man. Did you see him? No, he didn't, Mr. Ma Dad, he said. Good. If you didn't see that man, then we should be fine for now. If you have seen him, we're fucked. What do you mean, father? Octavia said. There's a man. He was known to legend since the quirks started appearing and making our little problems appear to be more efficient. Since the quirks evolution of everything else, the quirks came more powerful and then became more satanic shit in the mix. There's a man called Awful One out there who's able to possess quirks and pass them on. Get them and pass on. That's all he's done for the past 150 years of his life. We don't know where he came from or where his personality stands, but us as devils don't fear him as often as what we should. Mostly we just treat him like trash, but we shouldn't. We underestimate him. One of our demons accidentally went up to the human world and got fed and killed by Awful One. That's why he's so mentally obsessed with trying to find me, he said. And even if he gets my family's blood, he could still do the same. Izuku, you're forbidden from going to the human world, and that means going to work with your uncle. You got that? Stolas said, putting a hand on Izuku's shoulder and kneeling to one knee. So, what's the punishment, darling, Inko? Well, I was thinking about uh, giving him the belt or the chamber, but that's too light. Let's uh, give him the bed of nails for tonight. Inko said, pointing at Blitzo and Izuku. As Izuku's sweat dropped in fear, as for Blitzo, thinking he could escape, well, he was wrong. He tried to run out the front door, only to be grabbed by Stolitz's, well, magic whip, to be pulled back and led to the torture chamber with Izuku following. As the next day arose, Izuku and Blitzo both walked out of the chamber, well, horrified, to say the least. They slept on a bed of nails for fuck's sake, so of course their skin hurts. As Izuku and Blitzo both walked out in a friends that they were limping, and they were bloodied with holes in their back. Don't make that sound like the way it is, you fucking weirdos. As Izuku arrived to the living room area to see his sister, and Luna both sitting there waiting. Oh, hi, father, Luna said as she went over and picked him up and carried her on her back. So we'll be going now. See you later, Izuku. See you, Auntie Luna, Izuku said as he was waved off. As, well, Izuku, you're not going to go back to the human world, are you? No, of course not. If mother and father says so, I'm not going to do it, Izuki said. Okay, then, we better make sure, then. The man who, well, father recommended we don't see ever again. If he comes here, we need to run, Octavia said. Yes, as two days have passed since then, we're going to go with the hero's point of view. 
as All Might was sat in a meeting with the heads of, well, the Hero Commission and the top ten heroes, Ryukyu, Miriko, Hawks, Dindeva, and the whole shebang was there, all talking about the family of four they saw that day in the USJ incident. They used their quirks illegally, yes, but what most was appealing to them was the way they looked, acted, and the way a portal randomly opened behind them and they disappeared. And never in the record, never seen. The only one little record, though, was of Inko Midoriya, who was linking to them, but she hasn't been seen for the past three years. So they speculated into something. Linking everyone to everything, they thought bringing the top ten heroes in would solve it. So why'd you bring us here? Yeah, why are we gonna kick some ass? Miracle said with Endeavor. This is confidential and shouldn't leave this room under any circumstances. This is probably the most kept secret of, well, their government that we've kept for almost 50,000 years. I'm kidding, we've kept for almost 200 years and we've never let anyone outside of the government know. Any government officials that have been super high up has been hinted at it but never been fully told about it. This is, uh, um, this is J200, also known as the plan idea that we had just in case they appeared again. This is 4728X272. This is the file that one of our associates that we thought was crazy and thought this was photoshopped in this video here as they would show them the video of Blitzo Luna, everyone getting kidnapped and fighting. As they all saw the video, comparing it to the other videos, they saw Blitzo, the one person who stood out the most. This video here was taken 200 years ago, and compared to the video it is now, the face features, the face features everything matches up. That person in the background is over 200 years old, or maybe older, and this speculated into demons being real. But the one thing that kept our eye on the most was the feather person that helped you out all might. That kid right there is the son of the demon king, Stolas, or, well, I think you guys may know what rank Stolas has, it's not demon king. But the Hero Commission doesn't know that. That's what they think. So what you're saying is, is that's the Demon King's son? Mirko said. Yes, that's what we speculated into thinking, yes. But the video from 200 years ago, also proven factual. That kid is the Demon King's offspring. And we don't know if that kid is meant to be good or evil. He helped All Might, of course. But there's one person who we should know. That if he gets the hands on that kid, all is lost. His name is... His name is All For One. All Might shouted. Do you all remember the Camino incident happened six years ago? All Might said. Yeah, I remember that very clearly, Endeavor said. He whooped the villain's ass and walked away with barely any injuries. Wrong. All Might deflated right in front of them, showing his skinny form to the government and the top ten heroes. What the hell? All Might's a fucking freak? Mirko said, about to attack, but realizing All Might kept on talking. So, all for one. The man who's lived 150 years, the man who can take and bestow quirks, the devil, as I called him back in the day, before I regained my power. I fought him six years ago to try and take revenge, but in doing so, I caused this to myself. I know, I sound pathetic and weak, but this guy he is not to be messed with lightly. He can, if he gets his hands on that kid, all is lost. 